our secret irritator kit. Ta-da! Here it is. Got our speaker. Oh, nice solder connections. Those all look good. All nice and shiny. Before this one, this is some of my handiwork. Not the best, not the best, but that's part of learning. It's okay to have that. This still works. It makes you strive to be better in the next project. And here it is. Comes with this uh, instruction booklet on how to put it together and what it looks like. We also have a color resistor code, the transistor types that you'll be dealing with. I'm going to widen that. Here's our parts list, parts you'll need for this. Here's our parts layout diagram. So when you're assembling this, you can make reference, which makes it really handy. And then our next page in here is our step-by-step -step assembly instructions, our theory of operation, and how to troubleshoot it. We also show you the foil pattern of the PC board as well as a schematic. These are printed on single-sided so that the ink doesn't bleed through and make it harder to read. Hey, nice. All right, enough of that. Let's get this, let's put this in action. Where's my battery? Here's my battery, nine volt battery. We're gonna plug it in. Wait, nothing's happening. Well, what you do is you plug this in, you hide it somewhere, and then uh, after five minutes, or up to five minutes, it goes off. People start looking around, where is it? And then it goes off. And it does this over and over until the battery is uh, drained, or you're, you fess up and say that you're the culprit. All right, check it out. May need up to five minutes, I'm just gonna let it play while it does that. <laughs> it's now reset itself and it's going to play again in uh, maybe another couple minutes. Well, you kind of get the idea behind that. Just leaving you with that. Thanks for giving the video a view and hope you enjoy making your own secret irritator kit.